Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. As per your request, we are checking out a video of SB19 performing the song Love Goes live in an event. But there is a twist. The twist is they only have three microphones to work with. Will they mess up? I hope not. And I will be challenging myself to track the microphone's movements all throughout their performance. So we will call this Track the Mics Challenge. How well will I do? I don't know. Let's see. But before we get into the video, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Max underscore two. At the same time, please subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Two. By the way, I will be watching this video from the channel of Shine Bright SB19. So if you want to watch the entire video without any interruption, please check out the link in my description box. Okay, let's start. Okay, I will try to track down the locations of the three microphones as we go along. So as of now, there is one with Ken, one with Josh, and one with Stell. Okay, wait. How did the microphone go to Sejun? Let me go back. I need to go back and try to find the transition. Wow, that was so discreetly done. Well, actually, I was listening to Stell. So I was listening to him sing. So I didn't see Ken handing the microphone over to Sejun. So, it's my fault, I know, but to be fair, it's really hard not to listen to them, right? So, let's just go back to the video where we left off. What just happened? The mic is back to Ken. Huh? Let's see where it happened. That was sick. It's almost like magic the way they did it. Do you guys know how many times I had to watch that just to see how it all happened? I had to replay that portion four times. Yes, four times just to catch the transition. Still giving the microphone to Ken. Amazing. Okay, I saw that. Sejun handing the microphone over to Stell. So one point for me. One point for me. That was pure luck, but it's still one point for me. So remember, the mics are now with Ken, Stell, and Josh. Oh, 
Oh my lord, I was wrong. Josh must have given his mic to Justin. But come on. Come on. That wasn't my lapse. It must have happened when the lights went out. I hate this challenge. What did I get myself into? How on earth did the microphone go back to Sejun? Need to replay. I need to replay. There you go. Found it. It's impressive how they were able to do this and to incorporate them into their choreography this smoothly. I am so amazed and I am so losing this game. So far, I have only one point. Imagine that. So the microphones are now with Sejun, Justin, and Stell. It's truly mind-boggling how they were able to adapt to this inconvenience. Imagine, they have to sing in tune, dance energetically, they have to project, and now another chore added to all that, figuring out where your mic will be coming from. They are real pros. That's all I can say. Whoops, I just heard a feedback from one of the mics. So, that only means that the microphones are really on. So they are not lip syncing. Okay, the mics as of now are still with Sejun, Justin, and Stell. Come on, give me something more challenging, boys. Come on. I'm starting to <laughs> real I'm starting to have a headache. I need a pill. I hate this. They did it again. How did the mic How did the mic get to Ken? Now I have to backtrack again. Wait. Oh, that's clever. With Justin's hand placed on his back, he was able to give the microphone to Ken without us seeing it. We have to admit, that was pretty sleek. And I also get it now. I now get why you folks want me to watch this video. Because it is just so impressive how these boys were able to adapt to this situation. So good. To those who are skeptical, those who are thinking, this must be a pre-recorded track. No, it's not. Castell just went slightly off key in the word I in I take. So it is definitely live. Moving on. Take 
They are doing crazy good. It must have been a nightmare to have to strategize how you're going to pull this off. The pressure they must be under because anything could go wrong in between. And I think the organizers of this event, whoever they are, should be sacked. If you know a group of five would be singing, why on earth would you not coordinate their technical rider with the sound system supplier? That is a huge no-no when it comes to live events. Uh-uh, you cannot do that. Again, another feedback from one of the mics, this time a bit louder than the one we heard earlier, telling us this is completely live. Let's go back to the clip. Just look at how heavily Sejun, Ken, and Justin are breathing. These boys are expending a huge amount of energy. The things they have to do to keep us all entertained. I love the fact that the boys without microphones are still singing. I know we cannot hear them. I understand. But I'm glad that they didn't just give up. Because it would have been an easy choice for them to just do the moves, concentrate on their choreography without having to sing. People would surely understand they only have three mics, but they're still singing. Let's get back to the video. Yes. Aside from the usual applause, I think the boys deserve a slow clap. Professionalism with a capital P. No, that's not right. It should be professionalism with capital P R O F E S S I O N A L I S M. I hope I'm spelling that correctly. All in caps. They were professional, they were sleek, their teamwork just admirable. They were successfully able to incorporate these adjustments into their choreography without missing a beat. As for me, I think I failed miserably in this challenge. I tried my best, but I failed. The only time I got it right the first time was when Sejun gave his mic to spell. Uh, that one time after the rap part of Josh, if I remember right, when Ken was singing. That's it. The other times, I had to re-watch the video several times just to find out how they did it. Obviously, I wouldn't include those parts in this video anymore. So what do you guys think of this performance with only three microphones available for them? Before this video, were you able to keep track of the microphone's movements? Please comment down below. If you folks like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. With that, thank you all for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in MaxQ. Stay safe and healthy everyone. God bless us all.